Hello everyone, just wanted to uh, quickly run through a new um, theme that I've got for the web SDR. This is based on the Yaesu FTDX 101D, quite a nice rig, um, using it as a background for the web SDR. So um, you can get to it, it's, it's the Jodrell 1 um, functionality. So you can get to it from the normal web address and if you just um, put slash radio html at the end or i've added a theme uh, i can show you actually on the web sdr i've added a theme to it when it finally opens I'm zoomed out so colors yesu dx 101d theme so click that that'll take you to it as well do it that way uh it will normally come straight up with the uh with the sound on, but you obviously need to click mute, mute. But the first thing you've got to do is you've got to turn it on or off. Um, basically click the button and that will switch to display on. Uh, then what you've got to do is you've got to zoom your window to uh, to the correct amount to uh, fit it in the page. And this is very much in a beta testing phase at the moment. Uh, I'm just trying to map buttons and, and various things like that. So it's, you know, there's a lot of work to be done to get this working, but I thought I'd just get it out there and you can see what I'm playing at, really. So it's, it's quite good fun. Uh, at any time, if you're bored and fed up with it, and you want to go back to the original, just click on one of these tabs here. That will take you to the normal pages you're used to. Uh, so what I've tried to do is I've tried to map uh, the various buttons that you would press normally on the rig to actually do functions. Uh, if, I, if you hover over it, it tells you what it does. Um, that one's obviously not a sign because we haven't got to top band on this web STR. This one is because we've got 80 meters. So if you click that, that will take you to 80 meters. I can't get it to actually take you directly to the correct frequency yet. I need to sort that out. But you can just then click the usual uh, memory tabs and uh, and then you know functionality is the same then with the uh, with the display in order to fit it into the the kind of window size there's a smaller aperture if you like for uh, for viewing the display so you probably have to zoom in uh, what you can do is if you want you can press control and, and roll your mouse and actually zoom in on the web page if you want to and and sort of do it that way uh, then you'll obviously miss the uh, the corners of the buttons but anyway that gives you an idea of that um what you then do is uh, various things are set. So FM, uh, I've got that set. Um, I've, I've put USB in here, LSB, so you can go through the modes here. Um, I've got volume control on this one. Uh, I can't do anything cool with the volume control. So all I've done is I've made it bring up the usual volume control and then you can set it where you want it and then it will go off again. Same applies to the shift um, if you press the shift button, it brings up the, the shift things that, you know, for adjusting the bandwidth and stuff like that. And it goes off again. Uh, once you've done it, it goes back out. Uh, I've got a, I've yet got to put the memories in here. I, I, again, I'll assign buttons to the memories, uh, noise blank. I haven't got, but I've got the, uh, noise reduction. So I might bring up like a, um, an option for that. Um, notch we can do so various little clicky buttons uh, frequency change you click on this it just brings up the usual frequency adjuster um, and you can obviously adjust the frequency like that um, and what else we got um, nothing I don't think oh main and sub I was experimenting here with them um, we're trying to get it to display a bit like it does on the real thing with two bands so if you click that, it brings up the sub menu. But what it's doing is it's not recognizing the smaller window. So you've got to tell it you want it to be small and then it should fit it in then. As you can see, what it's trying to do now is fit all of it in. When you go to all bands, uh, that's what it's trying to do here. So um, if you then click on, say, not CB, because those two 20 meters and CB are in. But if you were to click on 80 meters then, it will take you down to what it thinks is the 80 meter band. So you really need to be on one band for that to work. Um, one band and large to get it to fill the screen. And then these will work as normal then. Uh, again, I've got work to do with getting the um, the mode display, the LCD display to, to match what that says. But there's various things to be done. But it's, so you can, you can kind of get the gist. Um, the record function works. Um, that's the usual record function. The reason I've put it there is because on the real rig, there's actually an SD card slot in there, which I kind of figured was, you know, um, matched a little bit. So that's our recording thing. There's there's room for other things I can put in, you know, quick 
quick uh, get to buttons but uh, there's lots of stuff to be done with the the menu system here the way i do it is uh, it's called um uh, image mapping so i can show you on this i've got the actual image here this is just paint with the image in it and if you look um on the bottom left of the screen uh, you can see the coordinates are um are shown on the image so all i do is i go into the html and i tell it what coordinates i want to map the uh, the, the area to as a button so and then once you've got the coordinates set you can then give it a function and then the function will be you know the same as the the normal web sdr so that's how it's working with all the, the buttons pressed and then like things like turny dials and stuff you can't really do that well you could but i'm not i don't think i'm good enough to do that yet um i could click this and instead of it bringing up this i could maybe try and do it so it it's a turny dial um software controlled instead but i think there's a lot of work in, required in doing that so at the moment we're just sticking with what we've got so various other things to, to add to it but um but you get the idea um yeah just thought i'd share that with you all um just a little bit of a uh, bit of fun i'm playing with and uh, just just another um another way of running a web sdr isn't it with uh, with a different background so um i don't know if it will take off but if it does and it's quite a lot of work but you could pretty much have any rig um decent picture of a rig on the background and then uh, map the buttons to it and do what you want with it so um but yeah it's um i'm pretty much having to rewrite the html and the the, the um css files in order to get all this to work it's took me uh, hours and hours and hours just to get it looking like this so i mean what would be nice is a new kind of style of s meter as well but there's so much java coding responsible for that that i just don't think i've got the uh, the, the knowledge and skills to do that so anyway there you go um hope that helps and uh, enjoy uh, all the best